to me, the word hope means happiness and possibility. Always room and chance for something better. A desire for a successful outcome to what you're doing. Positive thinking about the future. Hope feels like helping people. It's the idea of looking for the silver lining. Hope will always be the key thing that you need. When you say the word hope, um, I think of inclusion, diversity and equality. When you truly believe that something will happen or you manifest something that's going to happen. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. When something uh, bad is going on with you and re reality is like huge and strong and more than you, then probably hope um, becoming like, I don't know, safety boat for you, the, some last stop before despair. So it's like, you know, something that saves you when you're really bad. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. What that quote means to me personally is that disappointment is short-lived, it's temporary and something you can easily recover from, whereas hope is eternal, everlasting and something you can look forward towards your future. 30 years ago, I was told that I had six months to live. So it was hopeless, it was hopeless. I saw active service in Suez and Cyprus in the 56th war, and this was terrifying. I never knew whether I was going to be alive at lunchtime. So I was drinking out of this water bottle, champagne and Guinness, you know. And of course I came out with an alcohol problem. So I had to deal with that, I had to deal with PTSD. I had to find something to, to turn the tide, so to speak. Um, it was at that time that I was reading Mark Twain. And the lovely quote, one of my favorite quotes, was that there are two important moments in one's life. The moment you're born, and the moment you find out why. And I thought, this is good. This is where the journey starts. I never thought that war could be something that I would ever talk or my kid would experience and as it hit us uh, I was I was sitting in the corner with Risa of the like the safest corner in the house and we were listening to the bombarding and uh, missiles uh, going above our uh, head and probably that what uh, I experienced that hope that we will be alive and that uh, it will end. Well, these bad things should stop. Stop. We need peace. We need to enjoy our lives. Don't let your past define you. I think that's something that's carried me a lot throughout my life. And it's like, no matter where you've come from or what you've done or who you was, like you'll be able to build from that regardless. There is no wisdom greater than kindness. I live by this. We all make mistakes. Um, things don't always go our way. But to always, you know, have that, that love and compassion and treating ourselves gently um, so that we can sort of ride through the turbulences of life. Sometimes there is, um, life doesn't give you space uh, or uh, time for hope or dreams and I would love people to, uh, to save this space for hoping and dreaming because it's very important and yeah, hoping for, uh, for living in love and freedom Nobody is below, nobody is above. Everyone is on the same platform, not over, not, not under. Everyone is the same. Everyone supports everyone. I always look at how nature just knows instinctively what to do, when to do it, how it's going to be done. 
we know that the leaves are going to fall but we know that they're going to come back again and so to me that's like actually it gives me hope that everything has a season so even if I'm in a time right now which looks bleak it feels bleak actually I'm, I have hope that we'll come round full circle and better days will come. Where there is life there is hope.